Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Rancher, a web-based container manager, in Docker. To begin, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. Then we'll use the CURL command to download and execute the Docker installation script. We'll add the current user to the Docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group changes to take effect. We can verify Docker was installed successfully by running the docker version command. And finally, we'll use the docker run command to start a rancher container. With the container up and running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host. Enter and confirm a password for the admin user. Then select I'm only going to use the cluster rancher was installed on. Check the I agree checkbox, then click continue. Click the Cluster Manager button at the top right of the screen. Confirm the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, then click Save URL. Select if you'd like to share usage statistics, then click Got It. Before going any further, I'm going to go to my user preferences and set it to the dark theme. Then click Local on the Clusters screen. Welcome to Rancher. To take it one step further, I'll demonstrate deploying a container using the Rancher web UI. Under Default Project, Click the Deploy button at the top right of the screen. Give the deployment a name, then enter the Docker image to use for the container. I'll use Hello World in this example. Once the container's parameters are set, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Launch button. Next I'll navigate into my test workload and view the logs to see that the Hello World container ran successfully. Then I'll navigate back to the default cluster view so I can easily monitor the system resource usage.